audio medicine exactly what you need to know post streptococcal glomerulonephritis is an acute glomerulonephritis and it was previously the most common cause of glomerulonephritis but it has decreased significantly in the US as of 2018 uh, most cases were in underserved regions uh, previously it was the most often uh, most often found in childhood in US but uh, in the uh, in the age group of two to six, but now it's more common in the age of more than 60 years old, especially with comorbs. But in the third world, it is still a leading cause of glomerulonephritis in children. Uh, it is a prototype for acute glomerulonephritis and it is caused by group A beta hemolytic streptococcus infection, and the onset is about three to six weeks after infection from streptococcal pharyngitis or scarlet fever. The symptoms of nephritic syndrome vary. They may be as mild as asymptomatic microscopic hematuria, or they may be as severe as gross hematuria with oliguric acute renal failure. There is also flank pain, which is variably, variably present, and general symptoms like headache, anorexia, nausea, and vomiting. Also, be hypertension and edema. The labs you will order will be basic chemistry panel for acute renal failure which may be present and serum creatinine is increased in that case. Your analysis will be performed for proteinuria and group A streptococcal pharyngitis diagnosis should be done with gas rapid strep test and a reflex to throat culture if that's negative. Also ASO titers increase on serial measurements. Other labs include serum complements which will be decreased. The diagnosis on the basis of renal biopsy will be indicated if there is severe or progressive renal failure or delayed resolution of clinical illness or systemic signs like joint pain, fever and hepatomegaly, all pointing towards diffuse proliferative glomerulonephritis. The management will be mostly supportive and for edema and hypertension you uh, restrict salt and water intake and give ferrosamide for the management of edema and hypertension if, this, if that is present. In ARF, dialysis is rarely indicated and renal function is typically uh, improving in four to six weeks after onset. The urine, uh, in urine, you will expect diuresis to occur in the first week and hematuria resolves in the first three to six months and proteinuria typically resolves over the first three years. Diagnosis is usually good as most cases are self-limited 95% and resolve within 4 weeks without residue and relapse is quite rare but may occur and adults do worse than children and they have higher risk of chronic glomerulonephritis. This is all about post septococcal glomerulonephritis that you need to remember. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the post notifications for more updates. Signing off.